Hi guys, welcome to WebSense Pro. I'm your host Bilal Nasir with another Shopify tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I'll teach you guys how you can add buttons for variant selector in debut theme. So after implementing this tutorial, you will have the uh, variants showing up as buttons like we have it here now. So originally debut theme doesn't have that feature to convert your select option to these button type variant selector. So originally debut theme looks like this. They have drop down menus. So the debut theme have drop down menu and you can convert this drop down menu into buttons, which looks pretty much like Dawn theme. So if you want to learn, please stick to the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment in the video below. And without further ado, let's get into the code. Okay guys, so that's the product page of debut theme and I have removed all of the codes for uh, making your drop down to convert into buttons. Now, if I refresh, you can see that we have it back in drop down menu mod. Now let's go to the back end of your store by navigating to slash admin. And from there, click on online store. Here we have our debut theme activated. So the latest version of debut theme is 17.14.1 where I'm implementing this code. So if you are trying to achieve the similar functionality for any other theme, the code might not work the same for you. And if it's not working, please let me know in the comments below and I'll try to help you as soon as possible. Okay, now we're going, uh, now we are going to added the code and in order to do so i'm going to click on actions and edit code and before editing to editing your code if you're working on your live theme i suggest you guys to have a backup by clicking on duplicate in case you mess up anything code in code you can easily revert it back okay now i'm going to click on edit code and from here i'll search for product dash template dot liquid file so that's the file where we will be adding our code and in this file, you need to go to line number 164 and we will be replacing code from line number 164 to line number 182 in product-template.liquid file. So let's scroll to 164. Okay, so that's our line. So if you already have some customization in your debut theme, the line number might not be same for you. You can search for this line here and replace all of the code from unless to and unless. So I'm going to remove this code and add the code which I have ready on the same position. So just copy the code and paste it here. Again, don't worry about the code. You will find all of the codes in the YouTube video description in a blog post link with the instruction on how you can implement that. Now click on save. And once your file is saved, go back and take a look of how your variant looks like. So that's how it looks like without CSS. All right, functioning fine, but it doesn't look good. So what I'm gonna do, I'll add some CSS in order to make it look good. So search for CSS and in there you will find theme.css file. Click on that. Scroll down to the bottom of that file. And On the bottom of my CSS file, I'm going to add the CSS code. So here's the CSS code. I already have it ready, which you will find in the link in YouTube video description. Okay, hit save. And now if I go to my product page and hit refresh, you can see that 
our drop down is converted into buttons which looks pretty nice pretty clean and let's try checking the functionality now if i add blue so blue is sold out medium so blue is just available in large and now when i click on add to cart you can see that the specific variant which we selected has been added to our card meaning our code which we added is working completely fine okay that's it for the tutorial guys i hope you guys liked it if you do don't forget to subscribe my channel comment in the video below and let me know what you would like to learn in terms of shopify development uh, wordpress development or anything related to web design and development until next video have a great day